It's a, it's a love story about the origins of the universe. It's about a man uh, coming to terms with his, his own humanity and humanity's place in the world and the world's place in, in the greater universe and the infiniteness of, of time, but through the vehicle of um, this sort of figure that is called the guide um, in, the, in the play. And it's about reckoning with his own, his own life and his own death. Um, and through that, getting to the story of how we got here and why that's important. The way she describes it is, we'll collect pieces of your life and then over time a picture will emerge, but uh, which sounds a bit like a biopic, but um, we have a slightly different agenda as a production, not just a biopic, but um, something that's more universal. Play takes this man who was a scientist and a paleontologist and a geologist and a theologist uh, who spent his entire life grappling with the idea of um, eternity and how matter and the world and the world of spirit eventually meet. And he tried to take these things and put them together. And the play takes us. Um, the play takes us through that journey, through that wrestle with himself and ideas and the people in his life to find some peace in that. He's tortured by how unresolvable the idea of death is, essentially. Of course, everyone who has ever been born is going to deal with that question at some point, eventually. Uh, I think that the group of artists working on this project at this time uh, there seemed to be a lot, uh, particularly a lot of um, life circumstances, death circumstances that we are all happy to be dealing with as well while we are working on this. And that's really potent and it's really uh, humbling. I think all the artists are sort of humbling themselves to the questions at hand because we're actually thinking about them outside of work and in work. And, uh, and to connect to that, all of the artists involved, the writer, you guys, me, we all have young kids. Mm -hmm. And so on the other end of death is when you have a child, some part of your mind is going, them too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and which makes it very, very um, visceral and real rather than an intellectual construct. It all feels very much like this is, this is now, mm -hmm. it's us, it's you, it's you know, I believe that that's what Alan is trying to say with this production, but I think that that's also the message of what Teilhard was trying to write about and trying to place humanity like a like a little candle flame in this huge darkness. You know, it's not easy to be this little to be this little flame in this sort of vast abyss, but I think sometimes you kind of look out and you can see the other lights, you know, and they're off there in the distance. And we know that we're not alone. And, and that's what I think I want people to, to take away from it, that feeling. So it's not an idea, it's not, you know, some kind of social engineering, it's just, just this feeling of, this isn't the end. My life is not the end of this greater story. It is not just about one man. Whoa, whoa. No, Hold sorry. On. Hold <laughs> sorry. <on. laughs> it isn't. It really isn't. Uh, and it's, so it's a love story for everybody in that way. But you have to go with us to find out what I mean.